Okay, so moving on, we are still in chapter 4. We are going to do the same thing that we did with an if-else statement with a switch statement. So remember, we had a maximum score, and we had um, the user score, and we calculate the percentage, and then display A, B, or C based on what they get. So all of this is the same. If you notice, we read the maximum score, and we check. We still check using the if. If 0 cannot divide by 0 later, so we are going to check if maximum score is equal to 0 then we give them an error message and exit. Now, here is where we start using the switch. We get the user score and we calculate the percentage. Now, once the percentage is calculated, we can use the switch. Now, here is um, a little note for the switch expression that says the switch expression, meaning the expression inside the parenthesis for a switch, must be an integer or a char. So it must evaluate at the end of the day to an integral expression. So if we just use our double percentage, that's not going to work. So we need to work, uh, work it a little bit. And what we need to do is we need to take this percentage and we divide it by 10. So if the user gets a 90 and you divide by 10, it's an integral division, remember. So we are just going to get a 9. And the static cast, really, it's not an integral division. I just lied. It's a percentage is a double. So you divide it, you get 9 point. If the user had 93%, for example, then you get a 9.3. Then we static cast it to an integer where you drop the 0.3 and you get a 9. So we take the 9 and you can switch the 9. So this whole thing must evaluate to an integral value in order to be able to use the switch. That is a limitation. Now if you can get that, then you can use the switch. So here's the switch syntax. Switch this expression and if it evaluates it to an integer, if not, you'll get an error message. So you get an integer between 0 and 10. So if it is 10, meaning if the user got 100, then it would be a 10. Or if it's a 9, so the case statement says if 10 or if 9, then see out you get an A, and there's a break statement. The break statement simply says break out of the rest of the cases, because if this condition is true, then we don't need to do 8 and 7. So it's the same as saying else. So break out of there. If not, you go down to case 8. So if the user got something in the 80s, then you would get an 8 there. Then they get a B, or else they get a C. And if all else fa fails, then you say you failed because this could be any of the others. And then you um, quit. So that is how you use a switch statement for exactly the same situation where we used an if else before. So let's build this. I'm going to show you what kind of results we get for this. The result should be the same as what we get with our previous code with if else. The only difference here is we are using a switch statement. So the output really shouldn't be any different. So let's say the maximum possible score is 100. Let's say our score is 89.56. So then it says your percentage correct is 89.56, and you get a B. So let's say, run this program again, and let's say the maximum possible score that you can get is only 75. Okay. Um, we got 67.45. So then it says your percentage correct is pretty close to what we had before, 89.93%, and you get a B. So look through the program and see whenever you're uh, required to write a program, if you can evaluate it to an integral expression or a char, which eventually evaluates to an integral expression, then you can use a switch. If not, you'll have to use an if-else statement.